Hey everyone, welcome back to the Nail Nails YouTube channel. I'm Julie, I really hope you remember me from last time. You better, no I'm joking. But today I'll be showing you how to do a fun graffiti cherry heart nail design and make sure you stay tuned to see how that turns out. So I've prepped her nails, I've stuck the nail tips on, I've done dehydrator and primer. So now I'm just going in with shell pink as the base color. Nice little kind of sheer, kind of halfway opaque. It's just a good in between pink to use and it will go well with our design for later. Just taking a medium sized bead and just putting it in the middle. Patting it down into the sides and then just lightly helping it go towards the bottom. <laughs> I'm scared to do the sides now because people say anything. <laughs> I love that this is a fresh pot, that's so satisfying. <laughs> Put another bead just above that. Again, tucking in the sides. And lightly helping that go down. Now going in with the cuticle bead, I'm just going to put that right above. And obviously we don't want to flood the nails, so I'm just going to lightly tuck that upwards, but not touching the skin. Just so it's nice and flush into the nail and then wiping in the sides. I'm blending it downwards. Just for a bit of extra thickness, I'm just going to add a little bead towards the bottom, just here, and I'm just gonna swipe it upwards. Now that that's done, I'm just going to go ahead and repeat this on the rest of her nails.
Now that those are done, I'm just going to let them dry and I'll be back to file. Now these are all dry. Just going to go ahead and file them using a 180 grit file. Get that shape back. And again, I'm just going to turn our hand around, make sure all the tops are nice and straight. Fix any that I need to. This one looks a bit in need of a file. Yep, all good to go. Going in with the sanding band on a medium speed, I'm just going to get rid of any bumps and imperfections over all of her nails. Going slightly close to the cuticle but we're going to come back to that with a different drill bit. Now going in with a precision diamond drill bit. We're gonna go around her cuticle area just to seal in the acrylic to her natural nail and just to make it look a bit more flush. So just go around gently on a medium low speed and go around the cuticles. Just gonna go in and buff the nails now to just smooth the nails up for our nail art. Just gonna dust that off. Just going in with a lint-free wipe and a bit of acetone just to clean up the nail. I don't know if glitter on that. For this design, I'm going to be using a few different colours. Um, the main colour I'm going to be using is strawberry cream, which is a nice baby pink. Um, it's very cute. I do love this colour, one of my favourites. And we're just going to put some of that on our tray. Such a cute pink. There we go. So for our first finger, I'm going to start with the pinky finger. And um, we're just going to do a French tip on here. With my French, I like to start by going up the sides just to give me a base to start with. There we go. And I'm not going to do it too thick or too thin, so we're just going to do a nice in between. Now I'm just going to fill in the empty space using a brush just so it's a bit quicker. There we go, I'm just going to put that in for 30 seconds. Just going to go with a second coat of that pink just to make it a bit more opaque. Just 
gonna put this back in for 30 seconds. So the ring finger on this design has two hearts, but in a cherry form. So we're just gonna use our dotting tool. Oh, a bit of fluff there, let me get that off. We're just gonna use our dotting tool to make the base of the shape. So I'm just gonna start by making a little circle, but keeping a slight point. I don't know if you can see quite this bit pointed there. Then I'm just gonna imagine what it'll look like because these will be overlapping, but just so it's easier for us when we're outlining later. And then the other side, we're just gonna do the same. Kind of have a rough idea of where we want the two hearts. Now just using a thin liner brush, I'm just gonna finish off that outline of the heart. Just filling that in as we go. And do the same for the other heart. So you can kind of see where the two hearts will be. It's just a bit hard right now. It's just pink at the moment, but it will make sense later, I promise. Just filling that in. I'm gonna put this in for 30 seconds. Just taking this out of the lamp. Now we're just gonna do the middle heart. So we've just got one heart to do on this one. Nice and easy. Again, just gonna go in with the dotting tool just to give me an easier base. There we go, we've got kind of one side. These don't have to be perfect either because what cherries are heart shaped anyway. So don't worry too much if they're not even. Roughly got my base there. I'm just gonna finish that off with my brush. We're just gonna put this in for 30 seconds. So to add a bit of dimension, I'm gonna be using one of the new colors that have just recently come out. Um, it's called Prima, Prima, however you fancy saying it. Uh, yep, one of them. Um, it's just a bit of a darker pink compared to the one that I've just used, just to add it on the sides for a bit of dimension. So I'm just gonna put some of that next to this one. So as you can see, it's just a little bit darker, not too much. There will still just be a nice add-on. Just using a bit of a shorter brush here and I'm gonna dip into that. And I'm just going to go around the sides a bit. So again, quite similar, but just enough to tell a difference. Just gonna put some in the top left corner as well. There we go, gonna do the same for the double hearts as well. This one you can start to outline your first heart so it's easier for when we do the black outline. So I'm just gonna go around, do the same on the other side. Doing the other half of the heart. I'm going to put this in for 30 seconds. Now I'm going to be using this pale green. It's in the shade Peppermint. We're going to use this colour for the stem. It's a nice pale green, but it's still on the darker side. So I'm just going to put just a little bit of that on my little plate. Don't need too much because we're only using this for the stems. There we go. And again, just dipping back in with my thin brush. Gonna do a nice stem for this heart. Just starting down the middle and slightly flicking it outwards. So okay, that's one. On this one, we're gonna join them. So I'm just gonna bring them more towards together. Do the other one from the middle, flick it out into that first one. 
just gonna add a bit of leaves to the side as well just gonna pop that in for 30 seconds now I'm going to go in with the classic serious black we're going to use this for the outline so again just going to put a bit of this on our tray not too much it's only the outline and I'm going to go in with my thin nail art brush and we're just going to outline the hearts so I'm going to start with the single heart and you don't want to have the thick clamp at the end because it's very annoying having to redo outlines so just try and get your whole brush covered but keeping it still quite thin and I'm just going to start from this side just going to go around the dark pink I find it's better to do it in one motion because then you're less likely to make it a bit wiggly On this middle bit here, I'm just going to flick them out a bit just to give it a little bit of shape. Just going to do one, a small one on the bottom as well. Now we're going to go in and outline the other two. Again, just going outside of the dark pink. Flick it down a bit in the middle. Just going to go ahead and outline the second one. Or third one, should I say. That's our outline's done, we're just going to put that in for 30 seconds. Now that that's been taken out, we're going to go in with another classic, Snow White. Um, we're just going to use it for a small design on our pointer and thumb. Pointer and thumb, that's what I was meant to say. And we're just going to add a few details onto the hearts. So I'm just, again, just putting a bit onto the tray. there we go so again with a thin liner brush i'm just going to dip a bit into the white and i'm just going to do a small line going up the side of the heart for a little highlight do the same on both sides And then whilst we're on these fingers, we're just going to take our dotting tool again and using the small side, we're just going to do a few dots where there's some empty space. And with these, we're just going to flick out the tops of the dots and make little stars. There we go. There's one going to do two on this finger, I don't want it to be a bit overpowering, but I'll just add a few extra little dots. This nail will do the same, just probably going to do one on that side. Again, just flicking out the top, the bottom and the side to side. And just going ahead and filling in any gaps, just to fill up some space. There we go. On our pointer finger, we'll just do stars all over with a few extra dots. Just going to do a star here, here, and maybe here. And again, we're just going to flip those out. Again, we're just going to go on some random dots, just where there's some empty space. And we're going to repeat this nail on our thumb. And we're just going to put that hand in for 30 seconds. 
Now that we have our design all finished, we're just gonna go ahead with some top coat and to seal that design in and just add a nice gloss. So using a nice layer, not too thick, not too thin. We're just gonna go over all of the nails and apply evenly, covering all of the design. Now we've just taken this out, the lamp is all nice and glossy. We're just gonna go in with some cuticle oil. This is a new scent, Tropical Punch. It smells absolutely amazing. I do highly recommend. Um, this came out not too long ago. We're just gonna put it on her cuticles. I'm just gonna rub that in. Keep her cuticles nice and moisturized. And the last one and there you have it that's the finished look So guys, that was the final look. I really hope you enjoyed watching that video. Please make sure if you have any nail ideas that you'd like to see in future that you comment them down below so that we have a look and recreate some of them for you. Make sure you also like, comment and share this video as well as subscribe to see any future videos. Thanks for watching.